got a reading for the Thurio Collective. So, I'm definitely talking to the masculine. I feel it. I'm definitely talking to the masculine about what's going on with the feminine. The feminine is really interesting in your connection. Um, they miss you. They miss you, but they're not like going to beg for your attention. But they will always message you when you res when you, you respond to them. So there's a sense of both of you like had to take space for a while, but now you're back in reconciliation. And you're getting to know each other again, and it's forming organically, and this is beautiful. This person sees you in a very high light. Um, you're a big source of inspiration. You've helped them grow. You've helped them see things differently. You ask them things that nobody else asks them. This is beautiful. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What's the download? What spirit want you to do furthering on from here with what's going on with that? Okay, good. Yeah, very good. I feel it. Yeah, we got eight of cups. You change your introspection. Temperance and balance. You should only your yeah, like both of you are like in the beginning when you birth when you both were first in a relationship, it was this constant like I feel like I have to respond to you. I have to find something to talk about. And it pushed each other away. When you both realize that the, when the communication is organic and it doesn't have to be forced conversation, like you can, if you need to go days without talking, go days without talking, or if you need to go a couple hours without talking, or if you just are going to be in a room together, it, do, it doesn't always have to be something to talk about. You can literally just enjoy each other's space. This person knows that you have a past life connection. Um, they completely believe and see that you're soul tied. Okay. The, you're helping that your feminine be inspired again. You're helping your feminine when they have moments of feeling like their their family and stuff is getting to their head. You you inspire this growth out of them, and the feminine wants to give you an offer of loyalty. The feminine would be in a relationship with you again, but I, I sense that the masculine is very much just letting this form organically, not rushing, not saying no. But there's more healing to be done between the two of them. The masculine sees the feminine in a very high light and is in love with them, yes. And when you're in love with somebody, you do what you're going to do to be the best positive force in their life. And this masculine knows that the feminine has more self-love to do, but they're going to be here for them. They're not going in a way. They're not going away. So the energy the masculine is sending the feminine, the lights, and worthiness. They're a light source. They get very inspired by you. They look at what you post. They look at what you do. When you're in public or when you're together, they notice how you make others smile. They notice the things you pay attention to. The energy you're sending them, even if you're not near them right now, is that they're worthy. And that you love them and that they're special. The energy they're sending you is balanced with the divine timing. Fear and health is on the way. You're, you feel the feminine's fear. I'm not saying that they're sending you, wanting you to have their fear. You just feel it. You pick up on it and then you have this sense of like the yin yang. You see, um, this isn't a person that sends you fear or sends you their malevolent will. You can feel the difference between that. This is a person who is doing it unintentionally. So what you do is you transmit that into power and you send it back to them in power and light. Hate, love, all of it stems from the same exact energy. It's how you use it. So you took that, you transmit it into power and strength and you send it back to your feminine. You send it back to this feminine and, and create balance and moderation for them. They're trusting in divine timing when it's coming to you. They're not, they're not giving up on your connection. And they see what you see as well. This uh, telepathic communication with help is on the way. They feel and see you as a helping source in more ways than one. The feminine is very inspired and has made some decisions to focus on their happiness versus what other people are telling them to do. So... What we got for here? Interesting. 
We have moss, so the masculine. Protect it. The masculine's asking for the feminine to receive moss as forward movement. When they're worried, they're going to see a moth and they're going to know that it's this masculine's energy protecting them. With Neptune, when it comes to love, Neptune is like a dream planet, okay? So dreams and increased attraction and Sagittarius. So there could be Sagittarius placement within this. Um, the, the attraction is increasing more and more every day. Both are freeing delusions and both are making sure that... Okay, I just got another download. To keep someone a great opportunity. And good luck. So both in the past were people who would get in relationships and it would be really exciting at first and then it would get boring. You wouldn't really know what to do from there. Both of you have decided, like, I don't see that from you. This, this feminine is in love. Deeply in love. You guys really help each other to stay in the moment. The attraction is increasing between you two. So this, this connection is not going anywhere. See, with the screen venturing, it's uh, opportunity, confidence. I'm telling you, like, the future between you two is right around the corner. It's saying to place uh, this stone, the green adventuring, um, in a bowl, like, on your desk, your living room, where you spend a lot of time. So even, like, your dresser, your side dresser, if you spend time in your room a lot. And it's going to create energy and abundance. This is a very good connection. It's high vibrational. So masculine, continue to follow that pace. Don't cause stagnation. Allow yourself to express. You can trust this feminine. They, they love you. They don't plan on going anywhere. All right, that's what I got for you. Hell yeah. Let's get it. What's that extra little bit that we got? Let's see. So redemption and guidance. Yeah, the feminine is guided to you. The, the feminine's gotten a lot of downloads, dreams, etc. about you. And they're like, I have a second chance with you. We can't have redemption together. Yeah, so this is this is. Let, let this feminine in. Let this feminine continue to grow with you. This is good. Don't give up. Hold it again together. Hell yeah. Let's get it. 